It's rare that anyone stays in one job for over 40 years, and it's even rarer for that to occur in the radio industry. Roger Christian has done just that in Buffalo and on the air. It's funny, I was working in Ocean City, Maryland, and um, I was a music director there, and Roger was a program director here in Buffalo, and it was the 1980s, and I wanted to get, I saw Buffalo, his station Rock 102 was playing a certain song, and I wanted to get his opinion on why he was playing the song. And so I called him up, and to my surprise, Roger actually was talking to me on the phone. I don't know what I said to him, because the rest was, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking to Roger Christian. It's, and that's the way you feel when you're around Roger. Roger Christian began his radio career as a teen DJ on WYSL-FM, located in the Statler Hilton Hotel in 1964. He went on to attend Franklin College in Indiana, where he was the station manager at WFCI-FM, the college radio station. Anybody who's listened to, worked with Roger Christian, feels like they've known him forever. That's just the feeling you get when you're around him. Roger came back to Buffalo in 1970 as the overnight jock at WYSL. In 1973, he joined a new startup Top 40 station, WGRQ, where Roger was a DJ and the station's music director until 1976. He then joined WBEN, WBEN-FM, Rock 102 as music director and later became program director and morning man in 1984. In the beginning, it was a little bit easier to move around from city to city. There were a lot more owners, almost like the way baseball or sports is today. But when you get to know a city as well as Roger does, and it was his hometown, I'm pretty sure it was just natural that he and the listeners fell in love with, it, with each other, and here we are in the Hall of Fame today. In 1987, the station changed call letters to WMJQ, Magic 102, then Q102. Roger became music director shortly after and was the station's midday host. The station flipped to WTSS Star 102.5 in January 2000, and Roger continued as the midday jock, a position he still holds today, 41 years and some seven companies later. If there's anything that could have been, can be done in Buffalo Radio, chances are Roger's done it from being at the old record theater and seeing Bruce Springsteen just look through albums before Bruce did one of his performances. Back before he was really Bruce Springsteen, Roger was there. Sue O'Neill, operations manager at Star 102.5, has stated that his longevity is a testament to Roger's talent and ability to change and stay relevant with the times, and also demonstrates his love and commitment to the city of Buffalo. Broadcasting is kind of filled with a lot of cranky people who kind of live on the edge. Roger's always like that calming, not regular, slightly abnormal, but he's the even keel in it all. And I think his, that comes across on the air, and that's why his listeners love him. Roger has said that Buffalo will always be his home, and that the nicest people in the world live here. Roger is the great American radio comfort food. No matter what's going on, no, no matter what mood you're in, you listen to him and you feel better. It's like some people have chips at night in front of a movie while you're at work. Roger Christian is like your potato chip at work, makes you feel better. Roger, we've worked together for far too long. Some days we look at each other and say, why are we doing this? But we keep doing it and we love you for it. The Buffalo Broadcasters Association is proud to induct Roger Christian into the Hall of Fame class of 2018.